Somebody recently was considered totally out of bounds to question someone's patriotism because of a political difference in Washington. That was called McCarthyism, and only the lowest sort of people engaged in that. Now it's completely par for the course for people on the left to accuse you of treason if you dare to disagree with Joe Biden in any way. Case in point, Tulsi Gabbard, who was a Democrat and a former sitting member of Congress, challenged the idea that it would be a good policy for the United States to fight a hot war with Russia. For saying that, and by the way, she speaks for the overwhelming majority of Americans in making that obvious point, but for doing it, members of both parties called her a traitor. Quote, Tulsi Gabbard is parroting false Russian propaganda, wrote Mitt Romney of Utah. Her treasonous lies may well cost lives. Keith Oberman, who is ludicrous but still alive, agreed. He said Tulsi Gabbard is a, quote, Russian asset who belongs in jail. Now, this kind of stuff flies around the Internet all day long, and most people just kind of shrug it off and keep moving, but Tulsi Gabbard doesn't seem like she's going to. She's on the verge tonight of taking legal action against both Mitt Romney and Keith Oberman. We should tell you, you probably know, Tulsi Gabbard is a U.S. Army Reserve officer. She joins, joins us tonight to explain her decision. Congresswoman, thanks so much for coming on. Thanks, Tucker. Um, so how do you plan to respond to this? Uh, well, first of all, let me let me say that I, I took an oath. As you mentioned, I still serve in the U.S. Army Reserves today. I'm a lieutenant colonel. And 19 years ago, when I enlisted in the military, I took an oath to support and defend our Constitution. I took that very same oath when I was elected to serve in Congress, where I served for eight years. Senator Mitt Romney has taken that oath, as has every other member of Congress who has had the privilege of serving. And if Mitt Romney had read the Constitution, he would know that treason, the crime that he's accusing me of that is punishable by death, is so serious that our founders deemed it to be the only crime worthy of being defined in our Constitution. And so the situation that we're facing here is a very serious one, not, not because it's about me, but because it has a much bigger impact on our country. When powerful and influential people uh, basically threaten and intimidate people into silence, as Mitt Romney, Keith Olbermann, and others are doing, they're hoping to achieve that effect, that if anybody dares speak out against the government, that if anybody dares to criticize whatever the, the wash, permanent Washington establishment's narrative is, then you will be smeared as a traitorous, uh, you know, treasonous traitor. Um, and, and frankly, it also, if Mitt Romney is serious, seriously believes that I have committed treason, why hasn't he brought any evidence or brought charges uh, he clearly doesn't care that there are any consequences, or, as I mentioned, he's just trying to intimidate and bully me and others into silence. Let me ask a question. So, so Mitt Romney famously dodged the war in Vietnam. He's a coward. You serve in the U.S. military, so you, you talk to people who also serve and who might be called to fight this war against Russia. Of the people you know who are currently serving in the U.S. military, how many believe that raising questions about whether a war with Russia is a good idea constitutes treason? Do a lot of your fellow officers think what you said is treasonous? Not a single person that I know that I've had the privilege of serving with, uh, and even those who I don't know personally, who take this oath to support and defend our Constitution, to be loyal to our country, wearing the uniform, knowing that we can be called to give our lives in service to our country at any time, I'm confident in saying that they would not agree with his accusations. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not surprised at all. The people who actually face the risk understand we need the conversation. Um, so how do you think you might react to this? Uh, we'll see. We've sent out these cease and desist letters to both Senator Romney as well as Keith Olbermann. And frankly, Tucker, it's in the hopes that they will recognize, it's giving them the opportunity to tell the American people, you know what, on second thought, we understand how serious this crime of treason is. We'll apologize and we'll make sure that this, um, this doesn't happen again, because if we love our country, we care about our democracy, we care about free speech, the last thing that anyone with a platform should want to do is to create this chilling effect where people are afraid to express their views, whether they are mainstream or not, whether they are in line with those in power in Washington or not. This is America, and we all need to stand up and protect this speech, because today it's me, tomorrow it could be you. Yeah. I mean, I, you know, Oberman's a sad has-been who lives alone with his cats, but Mitt Romney is a sitting U.S. senator. So I, yes. I hope that you will join us with his response, because he needs to provide one, I would say. Tulsi Gabbard, thanks so much I for joining us. I look forward to it. Thank you.
Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.